Hey guys, Michael from Fire and Brilliance, and today's episode is going to be an excellent, beautiful, exciting episode, especially if you are in the market for a pink gemstone. If you've never heard of Morganite, this is it. This is the episode you want to tune into. And if you are in the market for a Morganite, then you're in for a treat. So I'm going to go over five reasons why people love Morganite, and I'm going to get right into it for you. So number one, the most important thing about a Morganite is its color. So if you love pink gemstones, you will love a Morganite, okay? So a Morganite is not the hot pink. A Morganite is not the average pink. It's actually a very soft, subtle pink that's kind of peachy, orangey pink, okay? So think of it almost as if you are uh, looking at the color of salmon, right? The fish, right? Uh, in terms of when you're eating salmon, it's, it's, it has a very salmon color-like type of peachy pink. Very subtle, very soft, but extremely beautiful. So if you've never seen this gemstone, definitely check it out. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous pink gemstone, right? Now, number two, it's very, very durable. And if you've been following our channel for a long time, you may already know that the most durable gemstone in the world is a diamond. Second to that is a moissanite. Uh, well, the way it works is this. They measure gemstones on a Mohs scale, 10 being the hardest, one being the softest. Now, a 10 is a diamond. A nine and a quarter to nine and a half is a moissanite. A nine are sapphires. OK, but but then right below that is a Morganite. OK, so it's still very, very durable. Uh, is it as durable as a diamond, Morganite and sapphire? No. But if you're looking for something that is beautiful, that is affordable and is still very durable, then this is it. OK, so on the most scale is anywhere between a seven and a half to an eight. Uh, and it gives it excellent, excellent durability. All right. So um, the third reason is the affordability. Okay. So the affordability is this. Well, obviously it's objective. What's affordable to one person uh, versus another uh, is definitely um, something that people, you know, it will vary from person to person. However, that's not my point. My point is when I refer to affordability, we're comparing it from one gemstone to the next, right? So a Morganite compared to the cost of a Sapphire or to the cost of a diamond uh, is much more affordable. And what I mean by that is this, when you, if you ever get a chance to take a look at Morganites, you will notice that the cost difference between that and the Sapphire is probably by well, depending on the quality, of course, I would say anywhere between maybe a third to a quarter um, to maybe even uh, a tenth uh, of the cost of a sapphire. OK, so it just really depends on who you buy from, uh, where you shop at and, and the works. But that said, never discount a gemstone just based on the price. Always admire the beauty because it doesn't even though it is less expensive than that of a sapphire or diamond. It is just as beautiful, if not more, especially if you're an admirer of gemstones like myself. So um, that said, here's a fun fact, though. Uh, we've been in business for a long time. You've been following for a long, uh, us for a long time. You may already know that we are also run a jewelry business. We're, we're not just a jewelry channel. We're a jewelry business, fireandbrilliance.com, right? And ever since we've been in business close to 15 years now, we've sold Morganite for a very, very long time as well. And... Morganite prices has gone up quite substantially in the last, I'd say, five years or so when it became very, very popular. So Morganite, about even five to six to seven years ago, is only a third of the price of, of where it is today, believe it or not. Morganite today, the price has gone up a lot. And the reason being is because it became so popular, the supply has gone down. Basically, law of economics, supply goes down, prices will go up, right? So um, does that mean that it is... Super unaffordable because it no longer has a supply as how it used to be. No, it's still very, very affordable. But it basically means that it's no longer as inexpensive as where it was five to 10 years ago. All right. Um, so it is a very popular gemstone. So if you've never heard of Morganite. I'm glad that you tuned in today. Now, the fourth reason is it's very versatile. Basically, you wear it with anything. You can wear it on earrings, rings, bracelets. Um, a pendant, however you want to set it, you can basically wear it that way. Uh, now, it also matches with many different types of uh, clothing, attire, uh, different types of environment, meaning if you want to wear it to a wedding, you can. You want to wear it to a, uh, a romantic dinner or a date, you can. If you want to keep it casual, you can. Uh, 
it's it's very versatile. So if you are looking for a gemstone that is super versatile, and Morganite is it. Okay. So last but not least, many people love this part. It's basically what does it resemble? Uh, what does that gemstone entail in terms of uh, of symbolism, right? Uh, so uh, let me read this to you. Morganite is believed to be an emotional and spiritual stone, helping to bring joy, harmony, and balance in relationships. Isn't that beautiful? Um, so there you go. Those are the five reasons why people love Morganite. It's a beautiful color, right? It's very durable, right? Basically from a seven and a half to an eight in terms of beautiful color. It has a very beautiful, subtle, soft, peachy pink salmon color. Uh, it's very affordable. It's very versatile. Uh, and at the same time, it, it resembles just harmony and balance in relationships. Now, um, if you guys enjoy what I went over here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for subscribing. And if you've been following us for a very long time, thank you so much for continuing to support us. And if you ever want to reach out to us, make sure you leave in the comment section below. Uh, again, we are from Um, Definitely check out our website. If you're ever, ever into the market and you're looking for anything, especially if you're looking for Morganite, many people don't know this, but Although we specialize in lab-created gemstones such as moissanite, lab-grown diamonds, and the works, we also can get natural gemstones, and we do help our customers with natural gemstones all of the time. All right, uh, so thank you so much again for tuning in. If you haven't checked out the last episode, I went over the top five qualities of a great jeweler, uh, so hopefully that helps you out if you're looking for a jeweler, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.